morning and welcome to the channel. Uh, I just uh, picked up this really, really uh, sweet little wireless device today that I want to uh, show you guys. Uh, this is the uh, ClickShare CSE 200 uh, made by Barco. Uh, and basically this allows you to uh, wirelessly share content from your laptop onto, a, uh, onto any type of uh, screen. Uh, and these are really, really um, convenient um, and really easy uh, to set up. Um, it's it's similar to like a it's similar to the Crestron Air Media. Uh, however, the Crestron Air Media uh, is behind your firewall, where this, on the other hand, uh, is not. This sits in front of your firewall because this this base unit in here is Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi connects to the dongles that you plug directly into uh, your laptop. Uh, where on the Crestron, uh, you don't. You actually have to log on to your wireless network of the facility, uh, and that has its pros and cons. If you have you know, the pros, obviously, are you're safe behind your firewall. Uh, where the cons are, if you have people that come from outside uh, and they want to have a meeting in your meeting place and they want to wirelessly share something to your monitor, uh, they can't. Uh, but however, uh, when you have this click share, this click share does not sit behind your firewall, so anybody. Uh, can share something to it as long as they have the uh, uh, the dongle plugged into their laptop. But then the downside is it's not protected by your firewall. So technically, a hacker could, uh, if he wanted to, uh, possibly hack in and you know and and see what you're what you're viewing. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's get into this. I did not do uh, an open. I did not do video of the open boxing, but I do have some photos. This is the ClickShare box that came out of the uh, shipping package. The box is actually a pretty sturdy box and it is a, a magnetic, so that very top lid, it, it's a magnet and then it opens. And then once the box is open and you remove the cardboard cover, you can see on the left, you can see uh, you know, all of the, uh, you know, the instructions in the manual. Once I remove the manual, you can actually see the ClickShare uh, base unit. And then pulling the base unit out of the box. All these goodies were underneath it, so it's the two dongles, it is the two antennas, and the, uh, the power supply. Let's break the equipment out and uh, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. This is the uh, ClickSear uh, base station. Uh, it, is, uh, it, it is pretty small, it's got the power button on one side of it. It has a USB port on this side. And then turning it around, uh, we've got the antennas, uh, we've got the uh, 12 volt battery, we have the 12 volt um, power supply, uh, we have an HDMI, and we have uh, two uh, USB uh, ports on it. Uh, and really all you need to set this up, uh, since you're not setting this up on your network, is you need the HDMI. It does not come with an HDMI cable, so you will need to buy an HDMI cable that, so you can go uh, out of this uh, and into the back of whatever monitor you're going to use. The 200 does come with two of these USB dongles. Uh, and basically you just plug the USB dongle uh, into any USB port uh, on your laptop. Once you plug the dongle into uh, your laptop, give it about you know, 30 to 60 seconds for your computer to recognize the device. And then you need to go to your file explorer and you need to click on the ClickShare folder and you can see that there is ClickShare for Windows or ClickShare for Macs. Uh, my computer is a Windows computer so we're going to use the Windows. So once you have everything plugged in, um, you just need to literally turn on your television. The device is fully booted up and you can see right here, it's compatible with a Mac or PC and it simply has very, very simple uh, instructions that pop up on the screen. You get the dongle, you plug it into your computer, you open up your file explorer, you go to click share. Uh, and then you select either whether it is Macintosh or PC and then you press the button and I'll show you exactly how easy that is right now. So here is our Barco uh, dongle. I'm just going to plug it into a USB port on my laptop. And I'm going to wait about 30 seconds. You can see it is, uh, it is flashing right now. So right now, I'm going to go to my file explorer. So I'm just gonna open this guy up. And then right here, uh, if you had a Mac, you could go in this way, but I don't, I have Windows, so I'm just gonna do this right here, double click on this, 
and this just runs a, uh, a temporary application on your computer so you do not need any type of uh, administrative privileges because you're not installing anything on your computer and right now it says that you are ready to share uh, and if you look right here at the dongle you can see that it is no longer flashing it is a solid white light so and if you look up here at the screen there's not the, there's just the uh, the menu that it comes from the base station but as soon as I click this button It is literally uh, easy as that. Um, and the great thing about it is it does come with uh, with two dongles. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug into another laptop uh, and I'm gonna show you what happens when you press the button on the other one. So now I have uh, two computers. I have uh, this computer, uh, which is the one currently sharing and you can tell it's currently sharing because it has the, uh, the red circle on it. Uh, and then I have the other computer, which is um, connected and it's not sharing on the screen uh, because it has the white circle so we can see right here this screen right here let me turn the monitor up a little bit so we can see this is the first computer that I had plugged in which is this screen right here now I'm going to press the button on the second computer just one time and I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to press this just one time and look at that. Now you actually have both screens up. So we have the initial screen uh, from the first computer and then we have the screen from my second computer and hey would you look at that that's my YouTube channel. Uh, you should uh, subscribe. So and once you have it set up in uh, the dual screen mode like this if you want your screen to go away the second screen that came up you literally just press this button one more time and then your screen goes away and you can see that I'm still sharing uh, this screen uh, right here if you want to take over the entire screen you need to press and hold the button so this button right here I'm just gonna press and hold it now I have the entire screen with my second computer so it is it is really really easy um, and then again, you know, if I want to then show this screen, I can either press this button uh, one time, and if I press this button one time, you'll see both monitors up here. If I press and hold this button, so I'm going to press and hold the button, now you can see that the, uh, that the screen has completely uh, taken over. So it's, it's, it's really, really easy. Uh, a lot easier than the Air Media. But then again, like I said, you know, you're not behind a firewall, so you don't have that uh, safety cushion. So we'll just press this button one time to share my YouTube channel, just one time. And again, you can see that it's got both on there. It's super easy. And if you do have a PC and a Mac, uh, it works just fine. Now let's uh, get the Barco menu up. So press this so it goes back white. Press this so it goes back to white. And now we're back to uh, the menu. And again, like we said, you know, it works on Mac and PC. You plug it into your USB. You go to your file explorer and you open up the appropriate click share. And then you press the button. There are apps available for um, the Apple and Android. You can go, and these are the, uh, you can go to Google Play or the App Store and you can download the apps. Um, but the only catch to this is there are certain models this you can put this on your Wi-Fi uh, if you like in order to share from a, a mobile device uh, this does have to be on Wi-Fi if somebody's watching this and they know otherwise uh, please uh, please shoot me a comment and let me know but I can't figure out how to uh, share my phone to the screen unless I put the base station uh, on the Wi-Fi and here in this situation what I'm going to be using it for uh, I do not want it on the Wi-Fi if you're looking for a really simple way uh, to wirelessly share information from your laptops to a monitor screen, I really think this is probably the, the easiest way uh, to do it. I would highly recommend buying this ClickShare product uh, from Barco. It is a little pricey. Uh, I'll have the, uh, the description on where to buy it and how much it costs uh, below, uh, but, but I'm telling you, uh, just for ease of use, 
uh, those that, that work in a conference room uh, environment, work in a corporate uh, environment uh, that do AV, uh, you understand that most people aren't very tech savvy. Uh, and to log in and try to use um, the, the Crestron Air Media for you or I, you know, it's really easy. You just type in the, uh, the address and it comes right up. And you do have to download the program on your, uh, on your computer. This one, you don't have to download a program on your computer, and it just uh, it runs a temporary application on your computer. No need for administrative uh, rights. So it is really, really super easy. So, like I said, you know, I, I really like it. It really works for uh, uh, for uh, the purpose that I need to use it for. Of course, we have Air Media uh, in the majority of our conference rooms uh, as well, but we do run into situations where people that can't get on our network or we don't want them on our network, but yet they still want to share, you know, a PowerPoint uh, presentation. If you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up, and if this is your first time uh, to my channel, uh, please subscribe. I would uh, really appreciate it, and you can subscribe to me, Frank Guest. This is my YouTube channel. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.